Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Industrial Valco University, where you can get your PVF degree for absolutely free. Today we're going to be talking more about weld fittings, and in particular we're going to be talking about these guys right here, nipples and couplings. We hope you learn three main things today. First, we want you to be able to identify the different types of nipples and couplings. Number two, we want you to recognize classifications of nipples by their length. Number three, we want you to be able to list the specifications of nipples and couplings. All right, let's get back to things. Both nipples and couplings are what we call straight line fittings. This simply means they will not change the direction of the flow, but make the flow to continue through. They, in all honesty, are really just pieces of pipe that have been altered to be connectors to go with the valves or the pipe that doesn't change the direction of the flow whatsoever. Nipples are short pieces of pipe with the thread on the outside and a plane on the inside. In the industrial world, nipples are commonly done in a standard weight black steel, but they can also be done in a galvanized. They also come in extra heavy steel, brass, and stainless steel. The classification of a nipple is done by three things. Number one, the size of the pipe. Number two, the length of the pipe. And number three, the material. And it's done in that order. Again, size, length, and material. Okay, now my favorite part of every episode. Did you know? Industrial Valco University presents, Did You Know? Did you know that nipples come in three main sizes? The closed nipple, the short nipple, and the ever popular long nipple. The closed nipple, you can tell here that the threads meet in the middle. Has no unthreaded area and when screwed tightly between two female fittings leaves hardly any of the nipple exposed. The second type of nipple is the shoulder or the short nipple. And I've got this little guy right here. Let's go to the overhead camera for that. Generally, there is a short distance of unthreaded pipe between the two sides depending on how far you need the attached fitting to be. And of course, the third type of nipple is the long nipple. Long nipples, as you would guess, have the most amount of unthreaded area between the two ends. This length varies according to your customer's need and will always be longer than the diameter of the nipple. So which of these three nipples is right for you? Well, of course, first consult with your customer. They should let you know. But if not, you can always go to a pipe chart. Industrial Valco has these pipe charts. You can call and get one absolutely free. But uh, if not, you could go to the web also. And there you should be able to find the pipe chart that you need. Okay, let's talk couplings. You know, couplings wasn't just a bad TV sitcom from the BBC in England that was a ripoff of the great, great sitcom Friends. But they, like their nipple friends, also joined pipe, valves, and fittings in a straight flow. However, unlike a nipple, a coupling will always be considered a female pipe thread or an FPT. A coupling in turn then can work with a nipple which the nipple is considered an MPT, or a male pipe threaded. Couplings can join two pipes of different sizes. This would not be a normal application, but for demonstration purposes, the example here shows the coupling can handle the two inch pipe nipple on one side and the one inch side of the swedge nipple on the other side. Couplings that reduce will usually just be called reducers. Speaking of reducers, let's talk about two main types of reducers. The first type is the concentric reducer, the other type is the eccentric reducer. The concentric, like this one here, is where the larger size and the shorter size stay centralized, as you can see here. The eccentric is where it's off-center just a bit, like this one here. The concentric usually will be used in vertical runs, while the eccentric one will occur in horizontal runs, with the small end always on the undersize of the pipe. Okay, when you're ordering, make sure you give the larger number first. So in this case, this is a one inch, this is a three inch, but it would be a three by one concentric or a three by one eccentric. Again, make sure the larger number is first on a quote or an order. Okay, gang, so what did we learn today? Let's review. Hopefully you're able to identify the different types of nipples and couplings. 
recognize the classifications of nipples by their length, list the specifications of nipples and couplings, and as you can see here with these swedge nipples, we learned that the concentric will be used for straight line vertical runs, while the eccentric will be off center and usually found in horizontal runs. So as I'm walking around campus, people are constantly coming up to me and asking me two main questions. Number one, Professor Jim, how are you so smart in the PVF industry? And the answer is, it's a gift, a gift from God. And number two, does Industrial Valco really have 25,000 line items? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, they do. And they can get it to you with Speedability, which is in stock, air-free pickup or delivery in two hours or less. Well, I hope you had fun learning today. I sure did. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to ivalco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24 seven online ordering. Also be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.